All right, what is up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make your own presets and how to use my presets in DaVinci Resolve. So as you can see right here, I have everything lined up with the marker and like the beat drop. So I'm just gonna play the clip really quick. So yeah, it's a pretty good clip by, uh, I forgot, O'Grady. I, I like it, I like it. It's really good for, uh, like just test impacts and like practice editing. So yeah, make sure to just check them out. And uh, so what you're going to want to do for using presets is just add an adjustment clip over top of the kill. So you can see it's as long as like how the kill, how long the kill actually lasts. So uh, yeah, so I'm just going to the fusion tab after that. And uh, from here is where I'll show you how you can actually use presets as an impact. So uh, obviously I'm just going to drag one right here quick. Alright, so I'm actually in my editing pack right now, and I'm just going to grab an impact, and uh, you guys can actually go check out the edit pack in the description. It's the best edit pack for Dimension Resolve that is free. It literally has over 100 presets, so yeah, go check that out really quick. Uh, so I'm just going to do the SPR7 Classic Impact. This includes a glint, two shakes, and a flicker, so just add that. And on the glint's last node, or last keyframe, just make sure the adjustment clip is as short as that so as you can see now the last keyframe of the glint is at the end so yeah that's how to add an adjustment clip and uh how to add an impact on it and i'm not actually gonna play the clip on like full resolution because it, it'll just lag out my pc uh, make sure you have this on quarter resolution for the smoothest playback and uh after that what we're going to do is for a build up make sure to add an adjustment clip over like everything and then make it pretty short like i'd say about about like so start at zero and then go to like three and then go to the fusion tab and then here i'm just gonna add one of my build-ups in my edit pack so i'm just gonna do yarns or numbies black and white build-up so here it is uh add it on here and uh, yeah, it looks like it's already connected. So what you're going to do here is on the last keyframe right here, make sure to add a marker and then over or keep the marker there and then make it over top of the marker on the clip. So, all right, it'll make sense in a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to explain what you did. So on the last keyframe, it's basically like, like the furthest black and white it'll go. So basically, I'll go black and white, like the deepest black and white, and then I'll go back to like the impact. So, uh, here's how it looks. I it's gonna lag, but uh, you guys get the idea. And uh, and I'm gonna show you how you can make your own presets. So, uh, let's just say you wanna make a cool impact. So, uh, right here, let me just delete this. So let's say you got a classic normal impact, right? You like drag this over top of both of them and then you right click and then click settings and save all as and just put it into a folder that you already pre-made so i'm just gonna do presets example because this is just for the video i'm just gonna call it uh impact uh yeah it already exists yeah i just want to replace it so as you can see now you have made your own preset just to show you that it actually works i am gonna get it right now where is it uh, yeah, preset example and then impact right here. And then unconnect this and then connect that. And as you can see, now it is all keyframed already. You need to have an adjustment clip for the keyframes to actually work. So as you can see, there's a cool impact right there. It zooms in and then it zooms out. And uh, yeah, that, I think that's going to be a full tutorial. Uh, make sure to go check out my new editing pack. It literally has the best presets you can ever want for DaVinci Resolve. It is so good, bro. I like the the fact that it's free just makes it ten times better. So yeah, make sure to check that out. Links will be in the description. And uh, yeah, peace. All right, what is up, guys? <laughs> it's a very very hard thing to make a face reveal. I do not want to have a face reveal, but yeah, this is me. I'm so thankful for 500 subs. You guys are actually the best. I'm actually recording on a camera right now, so that's why it looks really weird. Uh, no, no, no. I don't really have much to say, but besides, thank you for. This past two months, I've gained over like 400 subs and it's been crazy. So yeah, I love you guys who are subscribed and hope you enjoyed this video.